Critics were stunned Saturday after Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas scolded Americans for not accepting controversial rulings, after his own wife battled against the results of a legitimate presidential election. Thomas chided a distraught public in comments Friday at a judicial conference in Atlanta following the leak of a draft Supreme Court opinion that would gut Roe v. Wade and a half century of the right to an abortion. He complained that Americans are addicted to results they want, while not living with rulings they oppose. He warned that the court will not be bullied in the face of protests. Declining respect for the law and institutions, Thomas Warren, votes there for a free society. Thomas' detractors were agog. Not only has his wife, Virginia Jenny Thomas, refused to live with the presidential election, he was the sole Supreme Court justice to vote that former President Donald Trump should not have had to release his White House documents to the House Committee investigating last year's insurrection. Jenny Thomas who had special access to the Trump administration because of her husband's position, have been White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows with dozens of texts as she worked feverishly to upend the results of the election. That revelation in March triggered calls for Justice Thomas to recuse himself from all insurrection issues, or be impeached. Thomas has also repeatedly attempted to rip up legal precedents set by the court. The irony is so thick you wonder if it's maybe a Clarence Thomas impersonator, former U.S. Attorney Harry Littman said on Amazon BC Saturday. Among other things, this is a guy who has spent a lifetime trying to take a battering ram to all the Supreme Court major precedents of law, Littman added. He's now saying people don't respect the law enough. That's even leaving aside all the controversies he has engendered, as has his wife. It's just, remarkable. Representative Ted Lee, Democrat California wrote that it's the Supreme Court aiming to bully women into having government-mandated pregnancies. Representative Cory Bush, D. Mo, pointed out even before the speech that both Thomas and conservative Justice Brett Kavanaugh were questioned about credible accusations of sexual misconduct in their confirmation hearings, yet are deciding reproductive rights for women. And that was just the beginning.